Mobile Suit Gundam MS vs. is this week's game. It was developed by Sims, published by Bandai, and released on August 26, 1999. Unlike all prior Gundam-related titles on the Wonderswan, this one isn't a turn-based strategy game, but explaining what it is is rather challenging. I should again state up front that I don't know very much about Gundam lore, but at the very least, the premise around this game sounds cool to me as an outsider. You play as a mobile suit test pilot for Anaheim Electronics in the years leading up to the development of the original Gundam mobile suit. This means the entire game doesn't feature Gundam themselves, but you instead reenact famous battles featuring iconic Federation and Xeon mobile suits while gathering research for your company's own mobile suits. This also allows the game to expand on the lore surrounding these mobile suits to cement their importance in the overall Universal Century timeline. As you play with these mobile suits, you get to unlock more variants of that mobile suit to explore in the sandbox. Bandai classifies MS vs as a real-time simulation game, and that genre in particular is worthless at describing what this game actually is, and I find the use of the phrase real-time to be somewhat objectionable. The closest analog to what this game is is Gran Turismo's B-Spec mode. The Gran Turismo racing game series featured a B-Spec mode for a number of years where you would issue commands to a race car driver, such as which speed level they should be driving at as a numerical value from 1 to 6, or strategic commands like whether or not they should try to overtake drivers in front of them. This is a similar thing but for mech battles, where each of the directions on the left directional pad is an attack strategy. Free, short range, mid range, and long range. That's it. That's all the control you have over what happens in this game, and more often than not you feel like the game is disobeying you and acting by its own free will which makes it even more frustrating. Whenever anyone attacks, there's a cut in with a picture of the action and a damage number if any damage is dealt, halting the action behind it. This makes the game feel really slow-paced, and because of that it sometimes feels turn-based even though it technically isn't. And this is my biggest turn-off about all the mech games for this system thus far. Regardless of what the gameplay ultimately involves, they always find a way to make it play out at an absolutely glacial pace, and there seems to be some aversion to just making mech games with fast-paced action and aggressive playstyles. There's such a fixation on lengthy animations and cutting graphics that it often goes to the detriment of gameplay and makes most of these games feel like a slog. I don't know if it's out of pride for their mech designs or because they want to slow things down for busy contexts in which you could possibly be playing a handheld, but mech games in particular seem to be the worst offenders. This wouldn't be so bad if Bandai's involvement with the system didn't mean that there are a ton of mech games on the Wonderswan, and all of the ones we've played so far are like this. This game has so much wasted potential. I love the premise of introducing noteworthy historical mobile suits from before the first Gundam's development through this game, but for them to get to do that, they would actually need a game that's fun enough to keep me interested. Sims' attempt to deviate from the turn-based strategy genre backfired because it's just the slowest frustrating as the Gundam turn-based strategy games. At the risk of sounding like a broken record, avoid this one at all costs.